Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying the Corner Booth Premium Pizza. This is the Pub Style Thin Crust Loaded Pepperoni. It is made with mozzarella, provolone, and Romano cheeses. It is 23 ounces, one pound, four, four pounds, uh, 652 grams. It was $8.99 at Jungle Gems International Market. What you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees. You want to place the frozen pizza on the middle rack. No tray or pan is needed. And then bake for 15 to 18 minutes. We are going to bake ours for 18 minutes and then we'll be back. So we left it in the full time and it looks really nice. It looks like they give you a nice, uh, if you look around the edge, there's a nice even like layer of pepperoni and then they gave you a bunch in the center too. So it doesn't look like they skimped on the pepperoni. So this is, it says five servings, one fifth of the pizza is 130 grams, 4.6 ounces. It's 330 calories. So this is 1,650 calories. It's 825 calories for half. I find this interesting right. because we bought five of these pizzas, five of the, the corner booth pizzas, and this is the highest calorie pizza. This mm -hmm. is the highest calorie one that we bought. So I just find that very interesting. Yeah, we got a meat lovers so that's actually less. Yeah, you would <laughs> think like the meat lovers would be more calories than this one, and it's not. So I'm just shocked. Uh, Kevin and I both have commented when it was coming out of the oven, it smells really garlicky. Mm -hmm. It smells like- It doesn't so much now, but it did when it first came out. Right. I guess I've gotten yeah. used to it. Okay. This is a heavy piece. <laughs> The sauce is very hot. Heat hot. Mm hmm Not spicy. Like it'll burn your roof your mouth. Because um, the sauce has almost no flavor. Mm -hmm. I don't think I don't think it does. No, but it's got some heat to it. I'm used to the last set we tried hard hardly any sauce on it. So when it came out of the oven it wasn't super, super hot. I mean mm -hmm. the cheese was hot, but uh, there's hardly any sauce, so you didn't get that molten sauce stick to the roof of your mouth. This one, you have to be really careful to eat it because you will you will literally burn and blister the top of your mouth. Yeah, some pizzas have more sauce on them than others. This does have sauce on it, but you just don't taste it. No, it's almost flavorless. Mm -hmm. I mean, you would think being made of tomatoes, you would taste the tomatoes, but you don't. No. You know, you just, you get used to a lot of flavor, a strong, rich tomato flavor, and this does not have it. Mm -hmm. uh, even the pepperoni itself does not have yeah, much flavor. It's kind of plain. I had worse, mm -hmm. but not greatly worse. <laughs> well. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not much. There's nothing to it. Really. It's edible. It's absolutely yeah. edible. And, um, you know, if if you want to waste your calories on it, that's fine. Yeah, if you but, bought it, you might be happy. Yeah, the, but there, I think you would be very, very disappointed if you paid $9 for this because there's no flavor. Mm. Um, there's the, better $8 pizzas or $7 pizzas out there. The texture's good. I do like the texture but you really don't get any tomato from the tomato sauce. You don't get any uh, seasonings from that pepperoni. And well, even, I don't mind the pepperoni, but... I don't mind it, but I would expect it to have a little bit more flavor. Yeah. And we smelled garlic when it first came out of the oven. You certainly don't taste it. The cheese is has no distinguishable flavors. Um, it's better if you just eat it on the top. If you just pick it apart? Yeah. Well, when we tried the five cheese one, you said it really didn't have much flavor when you ate it, it by itself. It doesn't. This this has more because it's got the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. 
But that's the only. Oh, you ate it with the pepperoni. Yeah, that's the only. Uh, that's the only thing it's got going for it is a little bit of pepperoni and cheese. It's really. But who wants to pay nine dollars for something and just pick the top off? Uh, no. off? It's really not worth buying. No, I don't think so. Um, it's a shame. Uh, you know, and it's, the funny thing is, is uh, if you have followed our channel, followed us through, because uh, a lot of you watch our videos every single day, then you will probably realize these are the last set of pizzas we bought from Jungle Jams. Mm -hmm. I was looking forward to these the most. Mm -hmm. and Home style, they looked really good. They looked wonderful. And you know what? We still have um, three more to try. We still have a buffalo chicken, a supreme, and a meat lover. You would think the try. buffalo would bring some flavor. Exactly. So hopefully uh, we'll get some flavor out of one of these. We're just not so far. And I, I am disappointed because, you know, we, we thought we might be saving the best for last just going on looks. But looks can be deceiving. Yep. So clearly. They dress uh, it up nice, but... Yeah. Didn't deliver in the Didn't flavor. deliver on the flavor at all. So this is one I would not get again. Yeah. I wouldn't get the five cheese and I wouldn't get this one no, again. I agree. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.